Hello, Dr. Badijo here. Today I'm going to teach you how to change pixel values in a raster data set in ArcGIS Pro, um, and I'm running here version 2.5. So here we are at the site of Monte Alban in Oaxaca, Mexico. Um, you can see the whole site here on top of the hilltop. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to add some hypothetical elevation to some of these structures, the built structures that are on top of the site. So for instance, right here, this looks like a subtle wall, and I'd like to hypothesize as to what sound might be like within just this area right in here, and also sound in this area over here between this building and this wall. But the wall is a pretty low-lying structure, um, so I'm going to actually have to build that wall up, which means I have to go and discern. Let's go ahead and turn our orthophoto on, zoom in. You know, kind of where the boundaries of this wall are, so here's I've got a pretty sharp wall and I could probably trace the entire thing all the way over to where I stopped seeing the wall on this south side and over here to the north where I stopped seeing the wall. Uh, but then once I trace that, I want to just tell the computer, okay, give these pixels two more meters of elevation. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today is just change the value of certain pixels in a raster data set. In this case, we're working with the digital surface model elevation values, uh, but you can imagine what you'll be able to do with this with other raster data sets. So to start us out, you have to decide on which digital surface model you'll be altering. For me, it's this one, a 50 by 50 centimeter um, digital surface model. And I'm going to start by clicking on the imagery tab. And then in the imagery tab, you'll see over here something that says pixel editor. Click on that and everything changes up top and what you'll be able to see here is we have something called edit and you can see where it says replace value or uh, replace value within we're going to go with this replace value within and then you can see a little polygon with the arrow that means replace value within some sort of polygon that's drawn over here in the region um, bracket you can see where it says region if you click that and drop it down you can see you have a lot of other different options the lasso giving you kind of this amorphous blob ability and then you have the rectangle if you want to be con completely straight up and down with it I'm going to choose polygon because it might be a little bit irregular and what you really want to make sure is that the source layer is the layer that you're planning on editing now for me it was already there because I had it highlighted here but you may need to drag this or drop this down and choose which one you're editing so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I've got my region um, region tool all ready to go. And I'm going to zoom in here. OK. So I'm going to say that this wall goes to this corner of this, this rock, over to this corner here, and continue clicking. Just as if I was making a, a feature class, I'm just kind of clicking along the wall as I go up and I don't necessarily have to be too exact here at least for the the kind of analysis that I'm doing but I do need to build this wall and it needs to be two meters higher than what I'm actually seeing on the ground and so I'm just kind of tracing my orthophoto up um, let's see if there's a better spot right in there maybe yeah I'll probably call this the corner and go over there and start to bring it back down Oops. Okay. You can see right there some wall. All right. And once I've kind of defined everything I want to be within the wall, which looks like I'm good there, you're going to double click. And you should see your polygon here with that kind of selection color, which is this this blue color and there it is it just kind of follows the wall up uh, if I want to I can go to zoom if you highlight it it says zoom to selected region so this is the region I have selected and it zooms so that I can see basically the swath you know region that I actually want to change the pixel for so I'm pretty much all ready to go I have everything I want done there uh, the last thing that I'll want to do is double check that I'm here replace value within and then 
I can enter in the new value. The other thing you can do if you want to try out some of the other tools they've got here is click on operations, drop this down, and you can explore here what you might actually want to change it to. Uh, you can pixelate things, you can set an average, average elevation, um, you can even add to a specific value that you'll add to each of those pixels. I'm going to go ahead and do that because I know I want to add two meters. So I'll click on that, add two, I'll go ahead and type the number two in there and hit apply. Operation succeeded. We're all good to go. So everything's been changed as I wanted to. The only thing left to do is actually save the raster data set. So if you want to continue on and, and save what you've done, hit save as new. If you want to create a brand new raster data set, or if you just want to alter this data set you're working with, you just go ahead and hit save and it'll make those changes in the data set. So my advice is go ahead and do save as new and rename it so that you know it's it's something that you've actually changed. Save, save as new. Go over here. I'm actually going to change this to say 2M added two walls. And that's just for me. Um, maintain clipping extent. And just hit export. Boom, and it should be pretty simple, and it exports this new layer. Um, we can double check it. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of clear the selected bit that I've got there and turn these guys off. And I'm going to go to imagery, see raster functions. So I'm double checking by actually creating hill shade. I want to actually see that thing pop. You know, now that we've created a wall with two extra meters on it, we should, it shouldn't be subtle anymore. So this is the one that I want to actually create a hill shade of. Go to multi-directional and create new layer. Boom. And sure enough, within that, you can actually see the wall that we built. Um, and if you, if you needed to get out of, um, so let me go back to, Pixel editor and close out. And then, you know, once you, you want to kind of explore it just with the identification tool, you'll have to make sure your hill shade is below the DSM, so the DSM's on top, um, and then start clicking around here. Now I can't see through, so again, coming up to appearance, and I've shown you guys this in a different tutorial, we can make our, oops, our DSM a bit transparent there. I'm going to go back to the hill shade and change it to zero. There we go. And we want to click on pixels that are on this wall. So we'll go to back here, explore. So 1909 versus what's next to it, it says 1907. So we have added our, our two, two meters to these pixels right in here. And that's basically how you change values to a raster data set. Um, it's pretty easy using ArcGIS Pro. Uh, so I'd go ahead and give it a shot and think about any of your projects and, and find new ways to make this useful. Thanks for watching.